Okay, class, so I'm gonna go over a few simple problems that will help you do your homework and take your test. And these are just kind of the basic concepts. So predetermined overhead and being over allocated or under allocated, that's one of the major questions that is asked on the midterm and the SLOs. So looking at this particular problem, it says Edmund Pools manufactures swimming pool equipment they estimate total manufacturing overhead costs to be a million four hundred thousand, and then it gives estimated cost drivers as fifty thousand direct labor hours or a million dollars direct labor cost, and then the machines are expected to run for forty thousand hours. So there's three different allocation bases given here, and each one can give you a different predetermined overhead rate. So Looking at this, remember that they always give you the estimated amount of overhead and they'll designate whatever the estimated allocation base is. So the first one says use direct labor hours. So you'll notice that the estimated overhead is 1,400,000 and if you use direct labor hours, you get $28 per hour. The second problem says to use direct labor cost as your manufacturing overhead allocation base. Again, the estimated overhead is 1,000,004 and the estimated direct labor cost is a million dollars. One thing about when you use a cost amount, you get a percentage because you have a, a dollar amount over a dollar amount those cancel out, so this gives you a percentage. Okay, so direct labor, it's 140% of direct labor cost is your predetermined overhead rate. And the third one is, again, you use estimated manufacturing overhead, this time you're using machine hours. And so now, because there's 40,000 machine hours, you have an estimated rate of $35 per machine hour. So three different ways you can calculate your predetermined overhead rate. All right, so that would be step three. If you remember, step one, estimated manufacturing overhead. Step two, estimated allocation base. Step three is what is the predetermined overhead rate. And then comes the allocation of it. So here, what we're looking at is we already have the predetermined overhead rates. Okay, so for each one of these, notice that for problem number one, we're going to use $28 per direct labor hour. So this million four, if you remember, that was all of the manufacturing overhead that was estimated. And that gave us this predetermined overhead rate. So when we actually use 51,700 direct labor hours, our allocated manufacturing overhead is 1,447,000. Okay, second problem is the direct labor dollars is 140%. And the problem tells us that we actually incurred 1,020,000. So we take 1,020,000 times 1 1.4, which is 140%. So now our allocated manufacturing overhead is 1,428,000. And then finally, because the machine hours, and again, they tell us how much was actually used. So we use our predetermined overhead rate, which we learned in the last problem, times the actual number of machine hours gives us our allocation or our allocated manufacturing overhead of 1,382,500. So real quickly, we did three ways of doing the predetermined overhead rate. And then once we use that allocation base, we calculated what was the allocated manufacturing overhead. 
Okay, now the last portion of this has to do with is it overallocated or is it underallocated? So we're looking at basically the same problem. And here it says that problem number one, that the actual manufacturing overhead was 1,425,000. And then I go over to the table. It says the allocated overhead is 1,447,600. So you can see the allocated overhead is greater or it's over allocated by 22,600. The second problem, it says that the actual amount was 1,425,000. The allocated amount 1,428,000. So that's still the allocated is 3,000 greater. So it's still over allocated by 3,000, but that's really close. And then finally, the last problem says that the actual is 1,425,000, but using machine hours, our allocation was 1,382,500. So here, the allocation is under what the actual is. So it's under allocated by 42,500. Okay, now just reading through this, in this particular case, using direct labor hours, the allocation re resulted in over costing. So when it's over allocated, it's over costing by 22,600. The direct labor cost allocation was the best option because it was the closest to matching the actual with the allocation caused it to be slightly over cost. And then finally, it says here, using machine hours led to the least accurate because that was the largest of the amounts. So it was under costed by 42,500, sort of like doing an absolute value, which is, amount is the highest amount. Okay, class, so those are three problems that might help you get through your homework and your quiz and your SLO.